Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your shower head and a new hose. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the old shower head. Um, and again, that's as simple as taking it off the hook and just unscrewing the section of the bottom of the shower head. The reason I'm changing this one is because it's actually come apart and it's actually opened up the pipe. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to change the head and also the pipe. Um, so all you want to do is just unscrew by hand. Um, you shouldn't need any tools or anything like that. Um, there may be some extra water in there. So let that drain off. Um, and that's your shower head come off and we can then remove the pipe and then install the new one. So to, to remove the pipe now, all we need to do is unscrew again by hand um, and this should be tight enough for you to be able to unscrew by hand. So you don't need any tools for this at the moment. Um, to be fair, you don't need any tools whatsoever. So you're just gonna hand unscrew this um, and then again, it should just come off. And that's the end of the pipe and the whole entire shower hose is now being removed. So I've got the new hose that I'm going to attach. Um, again, it's very simple. You don't need any tools. I wouldn't recommend any tools for this because uh, you don't want to over tighten something and it, it, it cracks or breaks and, and so forth. Um, as you can see on the, on the pipe, there's two connections either end, which is both the same. The important thing is, are these two plastic rubber washers? Um, and they need to go inside um, each of these just to make sure that there's a, a nice seal so no water leaks. And again, what we're going to do from here is one end is going to go directly onto the base. Um, these connections should be universal. So you should be able to just, again, hand tighten this um, all the way. If you feel like you're not getting enough tightness by hand, you can use an adjustable spanner of some sort just to get it to the right tightness but don't over tighten because you can end up breaking or slipping the um the shower connection and that's the last thing you want to do so i've done that by hand um again what we want to do is take this um rubber washer put it inside so it's nice and sealed within there and we're going to do the same thing for the shower head so I've got the new shower head and this is a Triton shower head. Um, I've used this brand before and I'm, I'm really um, happy with the brand. Again, all we need to do is use the uh, rubber washer within the connection and just hand tighten um, on top. You'll notice one end has a rubber black ring around um, and that goes on the shower head because that actually creates a friction fit to go onto the connection where the hose is, um, where, the, where the shower head is fitted. And I'll show you that right now. So what I've done off camera, I've just um, run the water through the pipe to see if any, any of the joints are leaking. Um, fortunately, they're not leaking, which is great. Um, and again, I've just hand tightened this. You can, there is actual not, um, notches within the, the pipe connection for you to use a spanner. However, I wouldn't recommend it. Just, just hand tighten it as much as you can, because you don't want to over tighten it. It is kind of a metal to plastic connection. You don't want to, um, break any of the parts. Um, again, bringing back to this point where the, the black ring is, this is to actually make sure there's a, a strong and nice connection onto the holder. And again, all we need to do is just push the pipe through and then push that shower head onto the holder. And again, that can be adjusted however, however you prefer. Um, I recommended the Triton one because it has a, uh, a sort of a feature of five different um, spray options, um, powerful light and, and so forth. Uh, it's great and it's also got a self-cleaning button so you can hold the button down and it self-cleans the shower head. So I'd highly recommend that one. Again, I brought all of this stuff from B&Q, which is just a local um, home DIY store within the UK. You can get this stuff anywhere from Amazon, um, Screwfix, B&Q and, and those sorts of places. Again, most of these connections are universal so you shouldn't have any issues in trying to find the right one. The only thing you wanna make sure is the hose is long enough for your shower um, and again, the, the preferences, uh, whether you want a chrome finish, a white finish, or um, they do other finishes as well. So I went for this option um, and the Triton, for me, it is a great finish and it's a great product. 
Um, if you like this video and you want to see some more home DIY projects, uh, please comment below what you'll be uh, interested in looking after. And also, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.